Ecclesiastes chapter 22. A slothful man is compared to a filthy stone, and everyone will his him out to his disgrace. A slothful man is compared to the filth of a dunghill, every man that takes it up will shake his hand. An evil nurtured man is the dishonor of his father that begot him, and foolish daughter is born to his loss. A wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her husband, but she that liveth dishonestly is her father's heaviness. She that is bold dishonoreth both her father and her husband, but they both shall despise her. A tale out of season is as music in mourning, but stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time. Whoso teacheth a fool is as one that grooveth a potsherd together, and as he that waketh one from a sound sleep. He that telleth a tale to a fool speaketh to one in a slumber. When he hath told his tale, he will say, What is the matter? If children live honestly and have no withal, they shall cover the baseness of their parents. But children, being haughty, through disdain and want of nurture, do, dis do stain the nobility of their kindred. Weep for the dead, for he hath lost the light, and weep for the fool, for he wanteth understanding. Make little weeping for the dead, for he is at rest, but the life of the fool is worse than death. Seven days do men mourn for him that is dead, but for a fool and an ungodly man all the days of his life. Talk not much with a fool, and go not to him that hath no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with madness. What is heavier than lead? And what is the name thereof but a fool? Sand and salt and a mass of iron is easier to bear than a man without understanding. As timber girt and bound together in a building cannot be loosed with shaking, so the heart that is established by advised counsel shall fear at no time. A heart settled upon the thought of understanding is as a fair plastering on the wall of a gallery. Pales set on a high place will never stand against the wind, so a fearful heart in the imagination of a fool cannot stand against any fear. He that pricketh the eye will make tears to fall, and he that pricketh the heart maketh it to show her knowledge. Whoso casteth a stone at the birds frayeth them away, and he that upbraideth his friend breaketh friendship. Though thou drawest a sword at thy friend, yet despair not, for they may be a returning to favor. If thou hast opened thy mouth against thy friend, fear not, for there may be a reconciliation, except for upbraiding, or pride, or disclosing of secrets, or a treacherous wound, for for these things every friend will depart. Be faithful to thy neighbor in his poverty, that thou mayest rejoice in his prosperity. Abide steadfast unto him in the time of his trouble, that thou mayest be heir with him in his heritage. For a mean estate is not always to be contained, nor the rich that is foolish to be had in admiration. As the vapor and the smoke of a furnace goeth before the fire, so reviling before blood. I will not be ashamed to defend a friend, neither will I hide myself from him. And if any evil happen unto me by him, Every one that heareth it will beware of him. Who shall set a watch before my mouth, and a seal of wisdom upon my lips, that I fall not suddenly by them, and that my tongue destroy me not?